Hi there, it's Nicole for Lawn Fawn, and today I'm going to share a card using new December 2017 Valentine's release stamps and dies from Lawn Fawn. The Lacy Heart Stackables Outside In Stitched Heart Stackables, as well as the cute little RAR, the little dinosaur stamp set and coordinating dies to do a little mirror stamping. I need a solid image stamp to do the solid stamping and I don't have one of the bigger ones currently. I have one on order. So I went and found something that would work because this is a fairly small image. I have some solid shape image stamps from Simon Says Stamp. These are the big perfect shapes. And I just grabbed the square, put it down on my stamp press placed the dinosaur over that, picked it up with the stamp press, inked it up with the VersaFine Onyx Black ink and stamped it onto that and then placed my paper over it and pressed that ink into the paper so that I would end up with two dinosaurs facing each other for my card. I kind of want them to look like they're facing each other kissing. So I stamped excuse me, one just the way it is, and the other one I did the mirror stamping using a solid image stamp. I'm also going to use every little bit of this little mini stamp set from Lawn Fawn. I am using everything I think except for the exclamation point, which I probably could have used and I just didn't, but I'm going to stamp the heart multiple times, the little speech bubble, the little bow, and the dinosaurs. I'm going to set those aside and I'm going to emboss my background with dies. This is one of my favorite things to do. We're going to use a lacy heart stackables die and an outside in stitched heart stackables die one inside of another. I'm going to just tape them in place with a little post-it tape. And then I'm going to grab my Spellbinders platform and it's going to show you exactly what sandwich is needed to emboss rather than die cut these. I am running these through using the Chili Pepper Lawn Fawn cardstock. And when I pull these up, and I'm going to be kind of careful doing this, instead of die cutting, I've got this great embossed background. Isn't that pretty? So fun and a great way to get double the use out of your dies. Go ahead and set all of this aside and I'm going to start coloring in my background pieces. Now I had to restamp mine. I didn't like how they ended up looking the first time. Um, I didn't like the color combinations I used. I tried to use some teal and it just wasn't working for me. So I'm going to go with pinks, purples, and reds for my little dinosaurs using the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. They work perfectly. These are stamped on Bristol Smooth cardstock. This is the preferred cardstock I use for the Zig Marker Coloring as they just go on so smooth. I like to lay down my dark color first, blend it out with the lighter color. Very fast coloring here. Pinks for the dinosaur and a little purple for the dinosaur spikes. For the purple dinosaur, which will be the dinosaur I do next, I'll use some shades of purple and red for the spikes. So again, laying down that dark color first, just kind of going in several little areas, laying that down, and then we'll blend out with light violet. And I like to just go over that dark area Clean off the tip of your lighter marker often to kind of remove some of that darker ink so you don't blend it out too much. And there is the cute little purple dinosaur. And I think these just go together better for this particular card, especially with the red background. Here are the little red spikes. And of course, I did color the additional two hearts, but I've already die cut them. Now I die cut the first dinosaur just as is, but for the second one, I need to be able to see through the paper. So you need a light source back behind to line up the die perfectly because you want to die cut it, but it, the die obviously goes only one way. This is the mirror image. So I'm going to tape that on the back side and run it through. And then we'll pop that out and it's perfectly die cut. So let's grab the background now and all the little pieces. 
There are my two little dinosaurs, so, so cute. The little speech bubble, a trio of little stamped, colored, and die-cut hearts, as well as the little bow that we could put in the girl's hair. To add a little dimension, I'm going to attach these with some foam adhesive squares right in the middle of that heart, the center heart, I guess I should say. I'm going to start with the dinosaurs and then build up from there. I will also attach the speech bubble with a foam adhesive square, but the rest of the hearts I'm going to attach just directly to the card base. And I'm gluing the bow on the dinosaur as well with a little glossy accents. These foam adhesive squares are from Scrapbook Adhesives and they are really nice and low profile. So while they do give you some dimension, they aren't so terribly high that it's still it's hard to mail. This is still gonna be a card that's super easy to put through the mail. Here's my little trio of hearts glued in place. Next, I am going to add some detail to the dinosaur's eyes with a black pin. I think it would also be cute to use some small googly eyes. I think that would be a fun way to dress up their little eyes as well if you wanted to. Anything else that I'm going to add, I need to do later because it's gonna be liquid. There's gonna be some Nouveau Crystal drops. There's going to be some Nouveau Crystal glaze and things, all of that I'm gonna wait till the very end so that I don't get my hand in it or anything like that while I finish the card. Now, I thought I might use a banner to die cut my greeting, but it just really wasn't working. And I'll show you that here in a minute. I was gonna put the greeting down low, but I think it covers up too much of the embossed heart design. So I'm going, there's a nice, kind of white space up at the very top of the card, which ends up being, I, in my opinion, the perfect place to put the greeting. I'm gonna cut it into two different strips so that it fits better, and it's just kind of whimsical and fun. I did stamp the whole thing on some black licorice cardstock using Versamark ink and heat emboss with Lawn Fawn white embossing powder. We'll sprinkle that on. I save all my little bits and pieces of black cardstock since I use it so often for this technique to create little greeting strips that have been stamped and embossed in white. I'll use the tonic guillotine trimmer to trim this into a thin strip. And then I did cut it apart and I'm just gonna try See how it covers up so much of the heart. I really don't like that, and I didn't like how it looked. So even trimming it down and layering it, that covers up more of the heart. And I think you kind of lose some of that heart effect. So by simply moving this and attaching it up high, it not only kind of fills in that white space, but I feel like visually it's a lot it looks a lot better, I guess. So play around with the elements. If it doesn't fit one place, usually you can find somewhere else to make it fit a little bit better. Just attach these up here at the top. I rounded the corners. I think it softens the look of the card just a little bit. I'm gonna use a half inch corner rounder and round the background panel first and then I will take the white card base and round the corners of it. I'm going to attach the card base or the, the uh, background here to my card base and finish my card, which I did this off camera. I just added some Nouveau Crystal Glaze to the hearts 
the speech bubble. And then I took some Nouveau Crystal Drops in Carnation Pink, Crushed Grape, and Simply White, and added some little white detail to the dinosaurs, and then a scattering of different colors of Nouveau Crystal Drops throughout the design to kind of go with the scattering of hearts here up above. And it adds just a perfect little finishing touch to the card design. Thanks for joining me today for this card featuring new stamps and dies from the Lawn Fawn Valentine's 2018 release. The supplies I've used to create this card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Lawn Fawn you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.